was poppin'. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that. T Squad, Miss Wanda just will not stop with this one sided feud with Melody Holt. What is up, you guys? We got to talk about this situation with Wanda and Melody because it is time to put an end to this toxic behavior. So today we're going to dive into a video that Wanda did over the weekend going at Melody and at this point, it's just like, when is it going to stop? We have all seen for years Melody be subjected to relentless harassment from Wanda. Like, ain't nobody got time for all that. Like, literally, nobody. Wanda's behavior is completely unacceptable. And we must recognize the importance of standing up against all forms of harassment. It is vital to create a safe and respectful environment for everyone and at this time i don't blame melody for however she chooses to deal with this situation so let's take a look at everything that wanda had to say about melody over the weekend i choose not to get in there but i'm just letting her know you know which i should not have because she don't appreciate she don't she don't appreciate anything so um it is what it is but anyway, uh, I was letting her know. So Mayor got a chance to come on and got the destiny to say somebody was begging and pleading to her. I want to know who the she's talking about was begging and pleading to her. Because that's one thing about Wanda. I never beg and I don't please to nobody. I don't even beg and please to my man. I know damn well I ain't finna beg and please to no woman who can't give me a damn thing. She can't do nothing for me. And I do mean nothing. She can't do nothing for me. So... She said I was begging and pleading to her and all her little flunky, funny, fake-ass uh, metal meters, uh, whoever they is, the fake meters, want to get out there. Oh, yeah, she said, girl, bye. Girl, bye. You'd have called your brother and told your brother what to say, how to say it, when to say it. And he came on there and he said what he said. But I can't blame him. That's his sister you're supposed to take up for your sister. But also take up for your brother and your other sister and your other sister too, okay? Take up all your sisters. Don't take up just one. When she asked you, I heard, what's going on now? What's going on now? You were scared to tell him what was going on, wasn't you? You were scared to tell him what I said about your mama, didn't you? Yeah, you were scared, girl. You were scared. You should have told him every, oh, you know what she like doing, calling me nine. No, I was not calling you names then, baby. I was talking about your mother. That's who I was talking about. It wasn't you, sweetie. If you're going to tell it, tell it the whole story and tell the truth about it. Okay, because I was Wanda. It was Wanda, Wanda doing all the talking. Girl, you know what you sat down and told them bloggers? You and your mammy. Both of y'all went back and talked. But the only thing about me and Vanessa, she go to the blog and talk. Wanda gonna come to her YouTube and talk. That's the difference between me and her. She telling the bloggers everything, so everybody wanna make it seem like, oh, she's so innocent. She don't talk, she don't say nothing. But girl, when I pull up, what I pulled up on my phone? Oh my God. What did I pull up on my phone? You over there friend with an old girl who cuss um who cuss um storm out. You over there friend with her. You keep keep that 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 over there talking about y'all products, your your uh grandbaby products and all that stuff. That what you over there keep keep y'all over there keep keeping about all that little stuff, girl. So come on, you don't fool with bloggers. Oh, really? So let me tell you something. Melanie's mom, brother, cousin, and whoever else, all on food with the bloggers. That's what they do. They go talk to the blogger, which I know they some king in. The bloggers, all, all them is kinfolk, y'all. All them is kinfolk. <laughs> I had to pause this, y'all. Because I just learned today that I'm some kid to Miss Vanessa and Melody. <laughs> That I'm some kid to that lady. Lord Jesus. Last I checked, my last name was Irvin and not um what is Miss Vanessa last name? Rogers. Girl, if you don't get out of here with this foolishness, this lady is absolutely insane. It's all that spritz. <laughs> The fumes that went to her head. And then talking about Miss Vanessa talk to the bloggers. I can only speak to myself. I'm not going to sit up here and say that we don't have conversations at times. But majority, y'all, literally 80% of our conversations is, hey, how you doing? Just checking on you, praying for you. 
you know, congratulating each other, liking pictures, liking posts. That lady do not be thinking about those cast members when it comes to me, okay? When it comes to me, she don't be, girl, guess what happened? Guess what was said? This is the... I do not be knowing unless I go personally and ask her a question. She might answer. She might not. You know what I'm saying? But girl, oh, Jesus, let's get back to the foolishness. That's why they had that rubber move up out of Huntsville. Them kin folks. Them is kin folks, y'all. All of them is kin folks. Even a legend I don't know, but I heard that True T is, is, is the daughter of the other lady. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I knew it was something. I knew it because when she went over there to Tay Talk and Tay Talk was over there saying little things, but Tay Talk got back in her ass. Tay Talk ate the shit out of her, okay? Tay Talk ate the shit out of her. So she want to come at me. It's okay, baby. Come at me. You can't stand the truth. Y'all fake. Y'all fake. You can't stand the truth. So the thing is, y'all, this was the whole thing. She said what she said. I said what I said. So at this point, True T, let's get back to her now. True T said, if I say anything about her, she's going to tell stuff about Tisha. So what you got to tell about Tisha that I don't already know? Please tell me. When can you tell me anything about Monso that I don't already know? What can you tell me? Because what y'all doing now, y'all just making up lies now. If you had something you would have told it years ago when you and Melanie was like this right here, okay? When Melanie needs somebody to tell on them, when Melanie had to go get my little niece to tell on them, she didn't have nothing. You ain't got nothing. None of y'all don't have nothing. I am the show me, baby. I am from Missouri. Show me. I wait. Show me. Show me. I will wait. If you do, I don't give a fuck and neither do Tisha. We don't care no more. We don't care. It's been seven, eight years this has been floating around. So after seven, eight years, we don't backtrack. We don't go back to the, what happened in our back of our life. We're going forward, baby. We walk forward. We do not go back. Okay? We do not go back. So whatever happened back in the past is where it's say in the fucking past. If it ain't nothing happened yesterday or today, we don't give a fuck. We don't care. Tisha don't care. So whatever you got, keep it. Because she ain't going nowhere and we don't care. So repeat it. Say whatever you want to say about Marceau. Say what you want to say about Tisha. Say what you want to say about Wanda. We don't care, girl. We don't care. So find something else to talk about, okay? Find something else to talk about. Come up, bring us some good news, okay? Not no lies. Don't bring us no lies, because the lies been flow for seven years. There's nothing happened. And so what make you think that you had something and you was holding on to it for seven years? Girl, come on. Get real, girl. Come on. Tell us something different. See, I told you we live, love, and laugh over here, baby. Okay? Okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. We ain't got time to go back. Whatever happened to my husband 10 years ago? I don't get a little woman come and tell me something that happened with me, her and my husband 10 years ago. Get the fuck out of my face. That's been 10 years, a whole decade. And I'm still, I'm still doing good. And we still rocking it like we did yesterday. Okay? So we don't care what you got to say about Tisha. I don't care what you got to say about uh, Marceau. We don't care. We just don't care. You need to go talk to your auntie. Uh, whoever Black Titan, Black Titan is to you, whatever she is to you, you need to be going and trying to check on her, baby, because she thought she did something when they did all that to Stormy. And guess what happened? Stormy warned, Storm warned, she warned. They thought they're going to put a charge on her for her to go to jail or be charged with something. Don't charge. No charge. It's just like when the mama, when they said, when, uh, what the name of that record is? When your mama had a baby and she said, no charge. A mama, a $5 to take the trash out. No charge. $10 to, to, to wreck the rap. No charge. Baby, baby, no charge. It's no, it's no charge. Okay? No charge. Period. They didn't miss 
everything. Clean record. Nothing on her record. When you go back and look at her record, there's nothing on there. Nothing. Exposed. Everything gone. So, when y'all want to bring up my record that happened 20, 30 years ago, baby, go ahead. Go ahead. You think I care? But prove everything you're singing. I want you to take me to court because you know what I got? All the stuff that y'all lied and said on me. That's what I got. I'm going to court with paper, baby. I got a whole book over here. With I got a whole book. So let's go. Let's go. I got all your tape, not just on this phone, but on two more other phones in there, too. They not, you cannot delete them because they've been pre-recorded, baby. Pre-recorded. So let's go. Let's go to court. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So let's go, baby. Let's go. So you say it. Now, at this point, you said you got some on Tisha. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. All y'all fake. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Then I hold on. A change going to come. Hold on. I'm going to hold on. Hmm. I'm going to hold on. What you got to say, girl? What, the cat got your tongue now? Do the cat got your tongue? Yeah. Go get back on there and call me. No talking. For all this. Do whatever you please, baby. Do whatever you please. That don't bother me. It didn't bother me when I was in middle school. It didn't bother me when I was in elementary school. And it damn most definitely bothered me when I was in high school. So you give, you think I give up what y'all saying now? I'm grown as a woman. It didn't bother me then. And it most definitely don't bother me now. It just made me stronger, baby. When y'all said stuff about me, it made me stronger and stronger. Yes, I get strong when y'all talk about me, baby. Yes. Keep on talking about the way I talk and the way I look and the way I say things and the way my, but guess what? Guess what? I ain't lonely. What do the lonely do? <laughs> your ass is lonely as hell. Your friend is lonely. Her mama is lonely. All y'all is lonely as All y'all is lonely. Lonely, lonely, lonely. What do the lonely do? Not that Christmas time at all time. <laughs> y'all is pitiful to be Young women, young women at that. And you think you can come for an old woman like me? Which I'm not old. I think I'm right there with y'all. And that right there is the problem. I can compare it to one of y'all. I sure can. Let me see what they saying now. I say, <laughs> y'all, I can sing like, I can sing like Mayo. Don't I sound just like her? <laughs> Don't I sound like this is just like me. I'm oldest. <laughs> so when y'all get ready to go by that tape, y'all have to know. Old and lonely and crazy. 